Yo guys, Jake Bacon here, and I want to talk Ronin S handles. So this is a pretty popular handle setup for the Ronin S um, from Small Rig. I'm sure you guys have seen it before, other people have reviewed this, but the whole reason why I went down this rabbit hole of pretty much reviewing this against the official DJI Switch Grip dual handle was because on one of those reviews, which I was watching, someone said that when you take the gimbal, it actually, the motor is, will hit this little switch right here. But as you can see, just barely clears it. So I really didn't even have to get the other one from DJI. But because of that, I went to the official DJI store here in town and I picked it up. And just to compare, I actually already ordered this one from Amazon before I, and it wasn't here yet before I went and got the one from DJI. So I just went and got it. Just wanted to compare because I felt like I was probably gonna have to send these back immediately because if this was hitting this, I didn't want to hinder the movement of the gimbal at all. I know most of the time you're probably not even gonna be using the 360 um, rotation, but I didn't want to have to deal with that. So this actually does not come set up like this. These are a few parts you actually have to buy individually from Amazon, and I'm gonna link all of them into in the description below. So make sure you check those out. Um, click the links and you can see everything that I'm using here today to build this out for yourself. You're going to need this clamp first of all right here. And then the other things you're going to need are these handles. Um, they're NATO handles from Small Rig. And then there's also these rails that the handles are on top of. Now on these handles, you can see that there's actually a few um, quarter inch threads, um, some on the sides and some on the back as well. Um, and then there's a 3 8 inch thread on there too. And there's also a standard cold shoe mount on the side, so you can put a mic on there, um, any accessories that you want, that's pretty nice. There's also some more threads on the side of the clamp as well. So there's plenty of mounting options on here. And now these grips, they're pretty grippy on here. You're not going anywhere when you're using this thing. This thing stays pretty tight. I would feel very secure with this. The only thing is these are a set distance away, so you can't go in and out. They're not adjustable like the switch grip from DJI, which is one thing I really liked about it. I didn't think I was going to, I didn't think I wanted to use it, but I really like it. And these are actually pretty much the perfect distance from the focus wheel as well. I mean, I kind of have long thumbs, so I think that it would still work for you though. It's not that far from it. So you can kind of see you can uh, still rotate this pretty well while holding on. And then the only thing is it's kind of hard to reach a joystick back here. So that's one of the main reasons why I really like the switch grip instead is that you can get pretty much, you can get closer. It's easier to use the focus wheel. And then it's also easier to get to the um, joystick as well. You can hold it like this, but um, if you want to already have your hands like this and you want to continue operation with the joystick, that's an option. So that's the main drawbacks with this setup is uh, it's not adjustable. And the other one is that these are actually offset by a little bit. Um, so I haven't seen any other reviews mention that, but it's something that's kind of bothering to me. It really doesn't affect the operation that much, but it's just definitely something that bothers me. I'd definitely rather have these be perfectly in line. So you take these off like this, um, you just unscrew this, and then there's a little button right here to take it off. Um, I think it's kind of a standard NATO mount. Um, and then here's kind of more of like a closer picture of the handle. You can see the quarter threads all right here. You can see the um, hot, the cold shoe right here. The only thing is I think the switch grip is faster to take on and off. Plus the other thing is the switch grip actually has another mount on the back. So you can put just the handle on the side and you can use the um, barrel roll operation. So this is actually more expensive to build this out from Amazon and get each part than it is to just get the dual, the switch grip from Ronin S. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the switch grip on and we're gonna see what the comparisons are. Okay. So this is the Ronin S switch grip handle system. Um, now for comparison, so the grips on this thing are much smoother. So I would say that that's one of the biggest cons about this thing is the grips are pretty smooth and a little bit slippery. I've been using it though extensively and I haven't really had any problems. Um, you might want to put like a grip on here, like a grip tape or something. Um, I think that would help out. It's been fine for me. So what you can see is he, I mean, it's pretty easy to take these handles off. Just unscrew it, a little uh, pin right here, pop it off. These are um, the standard NATO mounts again. And you can see there's actually more quarter inch and three eighth inch threads on this as well. So you can put, you know, a bunch of stuff, accessories on here and everything. Um, there's even a cold shoe mount right here. So you can also put a microphone or whatever you want on there, just like this small rig setup. And then it just goes right back on. You just slide it like that, clip in. 
tighten it. So what I love about this one is the adjustability of these handles. Um, right now you can see that they're actually all the way at the end of the rail. So this is as far as it goes, which is pretty wide and you can get a lot of stability with this. But then, I mean, it's super quick to just uh, take this, you know, just loosen it up a little bit and then you can slide this along the rail wherever you want to go. So, um, I mean, you can get in really close, a lot closer than a small rig one, which is one of the main things I really like about this thing. So you can get really close and then you can go ahead and um, it's a lot easier to use a focus wheel right here if you want. And then you also get in the recent joystick better as well. Now, the other main pro about this one is that if you take this off right here, um, then you can go ahead and you can actually, there's a spot on the back. I'll show you, um, I actually have a NATO mount on it right now. That would go right here. And then you can go ahead and you can actually slide this right there real quick. And so you can use like the 360 barrel roll or, you know, a feature like that a lot easier with this one. And it's super quick to change back and forth. Okay, as you can see right here, I actually have a, a cold shoe mount from Small Rig. And that's actually just so I can put my monitor on here. Um, I have the small HD focus, the five inch one. And that setup with the switch grip is perfect. I've had no issues at all with that. So, I mean, and the other thing is this is cheaper than the setup, like I said before, from Small Rig. So I would definitely recommend this one over that. Again, and if you think you'll be fine with just kind of the smoother grip right here, which over time I think will just get rougher and you, you have more grip on there. Again, you can put grip tape, you're gonna be fine. And one of the other main uh, concerns that people had with the switch grip specifically is that, um, how far these stick out? But I mean, they're really not that far and I've used it in homes and everything and you can pretty much fit through any standard doorway. So you're not gonna have any issues with that. I would not even worry about that at all. It's a lot more useful having the adjustability of this thing. Now, the other thing I have on here, I got tired of uh, taking on and off the Arca Swiss plate from DJI that comes with the, the Ronin S. So I actually got myself, um, this is from Small Rig. This is just a uh, quick release Arca plate. And I have the Small Rig cage on my camera that just lets me quickly go on and off from this thing. Um, it's just, if I have a different lens on here, or if I put a mic on the camera or anything like that, all you do is just put it on here and then it's a really quick adjustment to balance it. And that's all you have to do. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I just want to show you a comparison between the switch handle and the small rig. They're both really popular choices for handles for this thing. I just want to go out there. I spent the money, unfortunately, on both of these things. Um, so I hope this will save someone else from making the same mistake I did. And yeah, if you're super excited about Ronin S handles, then go ahead and like this video. It really helps me out. And then definitely subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember, in bacon we trust. Peace, guys.